Sears Encounter. The O'Reilly Factor. Thanks for uh, staying with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in the Weekdays with Bernie segment tonight. Millions of people saw my interview with Donald Trump last week where he laid out his vision for the country and the world. As you may know, Mr. Trump says he might run for president, and the media is kind of confused about how to cover that. Joining us now from Miami, the purveyor of Bernard Goldberg.com, Mr. Goldberg. So first of all, do you take Donald Trump seriously in this regard? Well, let me start out by, by talking in the capacity of a reporter, not an analyst. I spoke to someone today, Bill, someone who is in a position to know, and that person tells me that Donald Trump has made up his mind and that as of today, barring any unforeseen circumstances, he will, he will run for the nomination, uh, the Republican nomination for President of the United States. That's as of today, and that's barring any unforeseen circumstances. That's what I learned today. All right. So now that you've reported that, the media has an obligation to scrutinize Donald Trump or at least weigh in on him because he's got a lot of money and he's obviously getting a lot of attention. Do you think the media will cover him fairly? Um, how have no. they done so far? No, I, I don't think they will. And, and I think there are two reasons for that. One is that they don't a serious candidate in that they don't think he's going to run. They think it's all publicity. And my source, you know, could could be wrong. But but uh, one reason is they don't take him seriously as a candidate who will run. The second reason is they don't take him seriously because so many Washington journalists see things through a certain prism, and that's a prism of politics. What they don't understand, even the journalists that I have a lot of respect for, what they don't understand is that millions of Americans who live between Manhattan and Malibu think that Donald Trump's greatest asset is that he's not a politician, that he doesn't talk like a politician or think like a politician, and that he is a businessman and most politicians couldn't run a lemonade stand. That's, that's the disconnect between the journalists who will be covering Donald Trump and the people they're reporting for, the people who live in the United States of America. All right. Now, so far, the reportage has been kind of snarky, I would say. Um, mm -hmm. not, not vicious like Palin, not at that level at all. Um, but, you know, condescending, look at this guy, here's what he says, yeah. you know. And I, I was actually accused of that when I interviewed him, but I was basically challenging him, and I absolutely have no intention to diminish what he wants to do. But the Palin thing, outsider, governor, you know, populist, Trump's a populist, Bachman's a populist. The press don't like that. But, they, but so far no. they haven't really unloaded on Trump. Yeah, but if he decides that he's going to run, as, as I was told today he will, uh, then, then you, you can expect even more snarky coverage. But is it Look, going to reach the, the media, Palin level? Is it going to get to be that hostile? It could. It, it, well, it will if, if he catches on. If he doesn't catch on, it won't. But if, if he does, it'll get real nasty. Because, look, as I say, the media is, is insular. They see, if he were the least important governor in the United States, they would take him more seriously than Donald Trump, uh, businessman and TV show uh, you know, impresario, whatever you want to call him. They just don't take that kind of thing seriously. And I want to emphasize the point I made earlier, that to a lot of Americans, it is a big plus in this day and age not being a politician. No, no, but the media that's what can Trump, get you... That's what Trump has going for The him. media can get you off your game by a relentless personal attack. That we, and we've seen that Sarah Palin stuff. Beginning to mock you, uh, you get on all the shows, the late night guys go after you, Saturday Night Live, and they make you a joke. Um, which it'll is what, happen. What it'll it, happen. Yes, I think it will too if Trump starts to, as you said, get traction. Now, last week we also reported about the GE tax story, great story, where they're not paying any taxes because they're parking money offshore. And their CEO, Jeffrey Immelt, is uh, heading up a presidential commission on uh, trying to get jobs in the United States. So, I mean, this. this can't go on much longer. Um, but there really hasn't been an outcry uh, by the media about this. Been some reportage, not a lot. Yeah, uh, this is something you know, Bill, but let me, let me explain to the civilians out there how this works. When producers and anchors come in in the morning, and even before they come in in the morning, the first thing they do is they read page one of the New York Times. 
That's how they decide what they're going to put on the news that night, because the New York Times sets the agenda. If the New York Times went on strike, they'd have no idea of what to put on the night news. Are we supposed to believe in this case that Brian Williams and his producers read page one of the New York Times and then decided that this wasn't a news story? No, that's not how it happens. They this did run it on the New York Times, did run this on page one. Yeah, they did. Right. right. And, but this was simply simply a matter. It's very simple. It was embarrassing to one of NBC's parent companies. That's why they didn't run it. But NBC, by the way, they lose credibility when they do that because then the viewer understands that they care more about themselves than they care about the viewer. Yeah, to be, but, but I NBC, don't want to stick up for NBC. You know how I feel about them. But the financial press in general didn't really rush to this story. They didn't. Because the financial yeah. press in general upholds the loopholes that allows GE to legally to park that money offshore. And that was an, well, that was our debate. I got to go. Do you have real quick on the last word? No, no, it's no. OK, so Bernie Brooke breaks I'm, a big story. He's saying that at this point, Trump is running and he was right about Couric being out of there at CBS. So you got to take it seriously. Thank you, Bernie. And I'm well,